Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And once again, going into the Summer Memories Beatdown Battle rerun, um, we did EX3 last time with a bunch of newer teams. Now it's time to go into Inferno 3, and I couldn't find a video for Summer Memories Inferno 3. Maybe I'm just being a bit dumb. Uh, but we gotta go all the way back to August, to Defense Battle, Gene 3, no, no, there it is. There, there it is. Inferno 3 Summer Beatdown Battle, alright. Well, I'll link that video into the description as well, and we're gonna see if some of the newer teams are able to take on the stage as well. You know, playing into the much higher amounts of HP that they have, and defensive skills. Uh, but first off, we're going to show the Summer Memories team as it was meant to be run. This will be in the the original video, so I mean, you can just skip to the next section of this video if you want. But this is the team as it ran when it came out. We've got Trainee, Summer Shizu, Hinata, Free to Play Ramers, Milam, and then Godforsaken Fire Lumi. <laughs> Who just recently got another Fire AoE unit, but you know, this is this, that is then. And uh, we're going to just test this team out once again. I have not actually run the full team in quite a long time. Fun fact, I just went through that video. The original actual meta team is not in there. It's a variation and then a different team. So this will be the first time actually using this team in a video in Inferno 3. Funny. Alright, we're going to move at hyperspeed since I've got a lot of teams that I want to show you, but we're going to use Romerus's Orb Change turn one, we're going to bring in Summer Lumi, and then we're going to bring in Summer, sorry, Summer Millen, sorry, I, was, I got distracted there. Alright, so again, we're spreading the damage because if we don't, Shuna will heal, and now her heal will be even more intense because we're taking off more chunks of HP, but they have more. So it is very important that you always do a 3-2-1 or a 2-2-2 kind of spread. You're hitting everyone at least almost as equal as you possibly can. So we're going to put the Enamor from Romerus and the Enamor from Lumi on two different characters because you have to if you want them both to work at the same time. You can't Enamor someone twice, but you can Enamor three people. So we're going to get 30% extra alt gauge here at the end of the turn. So we brought Hinata in to steal a bunch of orbs. We've brought Millam in, and we're just going to send all of these nerfed orbs. So again, spreading the damage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have some nerfed greens. Obviously, they don't do nearly as much damage, but, you know, it's okay. And with the trait, she will actually get her ult here. But it's fine, because we have Summer Shizu, who is going to ult swap away into a blue orb. And now, we can then steal all those orbs. I just want to see how much gauge we're actually going to get if we actually get it on 3, which we don't. So, here... Boom. We will use Trainee again. Guarantee the next hand is blue. Give us 40 points. And now we're going to put the Enamor on Shuna. So now all three characters have the Enamor effect. That's 45% free alt gauge on this turn. Which means that when we do send these orbs with, you know, everything spread out, we will actually get a Millum ult at the end of the turn. Even though we're not quite there yet. And it also helps us get close to Lumi's ult. So we're going to try an A double AoE nuke, one with a EX ult from Milum and one with a normal ult from Lumi. If we can get like any, if we can get an EX ult for Lumi, if you somehow find a way to do it, then great, fantastic. If not, not a big deal. Milum is our nuker here today. So we're going to use the attack buff. We're going to use the weakness strike, and then we're going to send Milum away. That way we don't lose those buffs and we'll bring Romerus in. And we already had a blue orb, so we didn't have to really use Trainee. We're going to anyways, because, you know, I want the points, and I want the next hand to be guaranteed. Ideally, you're trying to nuke on turn five. And here, let's see, what are we going to do? All right, so we're just sending four blues. Not a big deal. We have 140 points to pull from, because we've got one use of Trainee. If we were able to, we could have sent, like, uh, we could have alt swapped maybe or something like that. Again, not a big deal. But Milam comes in for Shizu because we already have her buff active. And Hinata, I mean, is not super duper important, but she will give us crit. So we'll take Romerus out. So guaranteed crits. 
And then with Trainee, this will be our fourth uses of her, which means that we're not quite at the cap for Lumi. We're one use away. Doesn't really matter all that much. So we could have been at 100%. We're at 90 right now. But we use the Orb Steel for Milim. Now we have a full hand. 500k for Milim. And then Lumi will watch the alt because we don't see Lumi alts very often here. And, and this will do it. This is how the team is meant to be run, essentially, when Summer Memories came out. She does less than 100k. But it's still enough to actually kill. And that's the important part. So there is the actual full Summer Memories meta clearing Inferno 3. Let's move on to the other teams now. Alright, next up is New Year's Blessing. Now, this team has crits and synergy, both of which work very well against the stage. Everyone is physical, also works very well. The team is relatively cheap, and oranges don't get nerfed until a couple turns in, so we're okay for a little bit. Uh, we brought... Again, Summer Millum, because she's physical and dark and she'll be type advantage, plus she'll be AoE. If you don't have this Summer Millum, you can successfully nuke with the Wind Millum and the Diablo. You need an EX alt for her, and you need Diablo alt. Um, you, if you're going to do that, I highly suggest bringing the second anniversary Magic Hinata to give both of them that all element buff. And that will work very, very well. Let's boost this up. Hold on. And let's cut until I find the right place. Okay, so turn one, we have no Orb Changer. We can't really deal with that. And you know what? That's fine. Because as long as you have the big three, these four blues will actually give us a Protector, which is not super important turn two, because we're looking for this. We're looking for three Rimuru Orbs more than anything else, because we're going to use Diablo's Giveaway skill, and then the Rimuru Rainbow Orb Change, and then we're going to bring Millum in. And if you don't have Summoner Millum, then you would bring Wind Millum in and you would get her EX alt instead. Either way really works. We are going to give ourselves a Shion buff, because these Rainbow Orbs will get us quite a bit of gauge back, and this will help us just do a bit more damage to them. Um, I was unsure how much Millum would actually do here. I know we use Shion and Millum a lot in Valor Cup. This is not Valor Cup, though. So, just wanting to make sure there's a little bit of a heal. Our EX alt is ready. So we'll use the attack buff, and we'll send her away. Yep, send her away. And we're good. We're good for her. We don't really need to do anything else. We just need to make sure that Windmillum does not get sealed. So we're never going to bring her in because her debuff is a defense skill. And they nerf those on this turn and next turn. So if you're trying to use Windmillum, New Year's Willem, it, it takes a bit more finagling to get this right uh, in order to make it work. But yeah, Summer Millen will just make it a whole butt ton easier. And we, you know, we have two dark characters. Diablo is free to play, but he is AOE, and he will put up, you know, okay numbers um, if you need him to nuke. Like if your Summer Millen isn't quite as strong as mine, then Diablo can do reasonable damage for being a free to play unit. So turn four, we're just gonna waste this because I need to get a few. I wanted to get a few more points to just make sure of everything and get the Diablo alt again to make sure that we can actually hit reasonably hard. So there's the defense seal, there's the attack seal. Uh, Rimuru being attack seal doesn't matter. Shinsha does not get sealed because hers is a magic skill. So now we'll swap out Rimuru for Milim. We'll use the Shinsha buff, and then we'll bring other Milim in and use her buff, and then the Diablo crit resistance down debuff. And we'll use the feature hand of oranges because it gives us extra attack on New Year's Blessing orbs, which two of the characters are. Uh, unnecessary, though, because Millen will handle the job by herself. So, it's all for naught. 628. So, pretty, pretty good. Let me put up, um, let me put up uh, the end of the clip where we're nuking with Wind Millen instead, just to give you an example. Okay, so this is the same team, but this time, you know, no Summer Millen. We've got the second anniversary Hinata already buffed both Diablo and Millen. We have a Shinsha alt, too. But here, Windmillum does 356, you're not super great. Diablo 213, and then we follow up with a Shinsha ult, and then the rest of the orbs will take them out because they're very, very low. So you can do it with like a traditional New Year's team with that second Annie Hinata for that cheap 40 skill point, 50% light buff. It's just a bit more difficult. So again, if you have access to Summer Millum and you can put her on the, the New Year's team, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. 
All right, next team, Visions of Coleus, a stacking team, but we're going to AoE with Coleus Rimuru being a dark character, and we have, you know, quite a few buffs on this team. We're only going to really be focusing on the first skill with Jean, the weakness buff slash synergy resistance, and then the big time magic buff from Violet, and we're just going to use that to buff Rimuru up by a literal butt ton and he will get the job done, along with the extra stacks of attack that Lumi will be giving us for the first, you know, five turns or so. So we actually can orb change turn one because we have Violet, so that's great. Um, I didn't try to go for three single target alts with like, the ladies. I, I guess you could if you don't have Coleus Rimuru. It's just, it's going to be difficult to actually get their alts uh, because of the rainbow orbs and the RNG that it, it takes away. But uh, theoretically, it is possible. So spreading the damage out. All right, we got a good hand. We got three and three, but more importantly, we can we can then rainbow these orbs. So we'll bring Cleesh in. Uh, actually, do we need to bring Cleesh in? I don't really think we do. Actually, hold on. Let me pause. Okay, never mind. That was a bad clip. I really need to vet these more. This is the good clip. <laughs> Turn two here, now we can rainbow. Now it's just oranges and rainbows. The last turn, they had oranges and greens. That wasn't going to work. So, turn two, looking for rainbow orbs, looking for a full hand somehow, any way, shape, or form. You don't need to use the rainbow orb skill on turn two, uh, but in this run, I just I did. So, it, it gets us a nice amount of points, and it gets us another protector. And then turn three treats us pretty well. We've got Blanc, who is able to alt swap away. We're very close to a Rimuru EX alt. That's good. And then we could... I mean, I could have taken... Uh, well, no, I couldn't have actually done that, so never mind. All right, so we're just going to send this. We're going to get very, again, very, very close to an EX alt for Rimuru. Violet's alt is inconsequential here. But now we need Blanc and Violet out of here, because both of them have attack skills. And so if we leave them both up front they're going to be sealed. So we're going to stack one more time. We're going to alt swap and orb change because that'll give us a full hand. And then both of them go away for Cleesh and Jean because both of them, well, Cleesh is going to get sealed. Not a big deal. We're not using her skill anyways. She's just here in case we needed green orbs and she's the free to play unit. So you could literally replace her with anyone. It does not matter. Obviously she did a lot here. But that gets us the EX alt. That gets us two more stacks of Lumi. That's very good. So that'll be an extra 24% attack on top of the other stacks that we've gotten. And the hand actually looks pretty good. So there's the seal. There's the seal. It does not matter. We've put our units that are, you know, don't want to be sealed in the back in safety. And now we can use Jean's first skill. We don't have enough points to orb change. Don't worry about that. So boom, there's the 100% alt damage. We'll bring Violet in, and we'll bring Blanc in, and then we'll use both their 80-point skills, the two stacks of Lumi, and then we'll go ahead and nuke with Rimuru and his follow-up orbs. Spoiler alert, we don't need them. We don't need them. All right, and Rimuru does 830k. Looking pretty good right there for a seven-month-old team now. Eight-month-old team, actually. So it's still pretty good damage that they were able to do. But that is the Visions of Coleus team. Let's move on. All right, the next team is Overlord. We're moving on to a green-focused team now. Um, we do also have Shizuka here from the Idolmaster collab. Now, if you have the Overlord but you don't have Idolmaster, it's fine. I have a second clip that replaces her with First Anniversary Dark Rimuru, and we actually do more damage with that team, so worry not. But we'll uh, we'll look at this run first, and you know we've got Exalted Champion Veldora, another Orb Changer, but more importantly, 70% Green Buff, which almost gets rid of the nerf that they put on us because their nerf is 75%. So we're the Green Orbs are still going to be down 5%, but between that and the charm we have for uh, Protector Remur, which is the 40% Alt Gauge on or Protection Gauge on Greens, we will actually be able to reasonably cycle him. So again, we don't have anyone to orb change turn one. We are nuking with Shoutier. Finally, a use for her. And her despair skill is actually also useful because it rushes her ult, which we're going to need. So this hand actually is pretty lucky. It's both Shoutier and Shizu, so we can use the green buff here from Veldora, and then we can bring Nabe in and just use her special convert. And that's a full hand of greens, plus the green buff 
uh, Overlord Reamer will then reset and also stack that element buff on us. And because we're a dark team and Reamer gives us extra damage against light, we do get a little bit extra damage here, even though green orbs are nerfed. So, you know, not the greatest thing in the world, but it is something we can work with. And if the game continues to give us pretty good RNG. So here, I mean, we just double orb change with Nabe. The blue orb first, and then the special. And then we'll start rushing Shaltir's ult. And now, reset with Ions. We'll bring Shizuka in, and we'll get both of her buffs active. So it's live mode. 2% per green orb, so 12% total here, plus the 20% weakness strike and a heal, which I guess is cool. Um, this just helps us get more damage throughout the entirety of the fight. We're stacking upon stacking, and that's how the Overlord team was supposed to be run, is stacking on stacking. And another pretty good hand here, as long as you know we take Shizuka out, we can reset her, use another stack, we can alt swap with Shizu. Uh, it's just that here, I think I misplay and I leave her in, and shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that because you miss a lot of damage off for a weakness strike and the uh, alt resistance down. So slight misplay here. It's okay though. I mean, it, it still almost does the job. You'll see. And you just have to move her away on this turn. So we'll like we'll bring Nabe in and then we should send Shizu away for Veldora instead of doing this. So there's the misplay. Don't be me. <laughs> Uh, but this will get Shaltir's EX ult, more importantly than anything else. And then we are able to use her 80 point or 80% 80 ult up and 80% defense down skill. We can you we you know you would normally be able to use a Shaltir uh, no, sorry not Shaltir, but Shizu's buff. And then you can put more despair on, right? It's five percent ult damage or ult resistance down. I mean, sure it helps. And you can use more stacks of Shizuka if you want as well. So boom boom. I realize my folly. And then we just kind of continue on. So, yeah, we only have one green orb. So we're only going to get 2% extra attack right here. Not the greatest. Uh, one, two. And then we'll go ahead and nuke. And we do... 452, which is not enough. We naturally crit on the other one, so, I mean, that's why. So we almost kill sh everybody. So that is a fail right there. Let's click over to um, the Rimuru team where I replaced Shizuka, and then we actually do kill everybody. Okay, so we're going into turn five. We have, again, the Shao Tier EX alt, and we've successfully moved Shizu to the back and not being an idiot. We don't have Shizuka anymore, so we haven't been stacking the live mode and the weakness strike. It really does not matter. Well, we do a lot more damage. Dark Rimuru does not have to be skill fused because all his skill fusion does is add Tempest Delete to his uh, crit damage buff. Otherwise, it's just dark characters get uh, the damage buff for crit, which we are nuking with a dark character, and we do a million right there. So that's with the Shaltir buff, the Dark Rimuru buff, and the Shizu buff, plus the stacks of Protector Rimuru. So this team can get the job done. The Shizu, the team with Shizuka can also get it done as long as you don't misplay, but successfully using a green overlord team in this stage can work. All right, and the final team of the video is Exalted Champions. So Velzard, Veldora again, Violet again, Space Shinsha, you don't need her. I just wanted an alt buffer here. You could literally bring anybody to alt buff. It, it really does not matter. And you will have enough points to use her a buff as well as Violet's on the nuke turn, using this strategy at least. And then we're going to be nuking with both our AoE Masked Hero and AoE uh, Space Guy. So that's why I brought Shinsha, because she puts the space resistance down. If she's skill fused, I think it's on everybody, and it's, extra, and it's higher, or may just be higher debuff. I don't remember. I don't have her skill fused. But, you know, ideally we're nuking with a full power guy who does actually have lower stats than Hero, so maybe you just nuke with Hero instead. It, it could go literally either way you want it to. Whoever is your strongest nuker, just go ahead and buff them all to hell because one of our units is going to be missing the synergy buff, at least on the nuke turn, using this strategy specifically. So turn one, we can orb change with Violet. It makes things very easy. We're going to bring Guy and Hero in. We're not really going to worry about the orb steal with the Hero. Because with Guy able to alt rush space and wind characters, we don't really need orbs for the Hero. We're just going to use Guy twice 
and then we'll have an EX ult for both of them. Magical. Incredible. And that's what makes him very good if you build a team around him. And we are also full of space characters here. And one wind, and then an earth character. Poor little Veldora. But this hand, you know, literally it does not matter what you get because Valzard's going to change it to green. Veldora will give us that massive green buff, so use that. And then we have enough points to use the alt rush. We brought Veldora in now and use the alt rush, so I don't give it to Shinsha or Violet because I don't want them to have an alt on turn three. I don't want to deal with it. So we specifically left Veldora up front during the alt rush skill. And then we're going to send this. And again, these orbs don't really matter. I mean, if you can get an EX alt for one of them, great. But the whole goal is to use his alt rush again next turn. So it, it literally does not. You get a handful of violet orbs here if you want. It does not matter. So here, we're going to alt rush and then use Guy's synergy buff. That way, we don't need to use it again on the nuke. So alt rush, boom. Now we have violet with her alt. Not a big deal. But we have to now swap out Guy and Hero. So that's why we didn't bring... Um, Veldora in instead. So here, again, Velzard. <laughs> Not a difficult thing to grasp. We can spread the orb damage out. And then turn four, you're going to have to bring someone in because I don't want Violet sealed. And this is where you can make the choice of whether you want to, you know, nerf Guy or you want to nerf the hero, whoever's the weaker character. I decide to nerf the hero because I'm trying to nuke with a space character. You know, make your pick. But the whole point of it is Violet can't be up here on turn uh, on the end of this turn, so she needs to go away for somebody. So one of these characters is going to lose the synergy buff, which is unfortunate. Not a super huge impact, though. And then we're going to save points. We're not going to do a single thing, because we'll get those free 30 points on this turn, and that will give us 160, and it's now enough to use both the Violet skill and the Shinsha alt buff for free. So alt buff, it can't be sealed. So that's good. And then we'll lower Shion's base resistance. We'll bring Guy in for her. And then we'll bring Violet in for Veldora. And we'll use the magic buff. And then we have enough points to use one more skill. And we're going to use the AoE skill for the hero. Just, you know, we're going to send her orb last. <laughs> Doesn't really matter because we're not going to get to that orb. Um, but now, Guy, 476. The hero... 200k ish but it is enough to kill so there we go we brute forced it in five turns with the exalted champion another green team but there we go there are what, five teams yeah five teams that can clear inferno 3 that are all newer and came out after the original summer memory well four teams and then summer memories itself i guess is what we'll count this as um i did do a run with the vengeance team it does technically work but you do need skill fuse trainee because Shion hits like a goddamn truck on turn five nuke and uh, it's very difficult to survive that but if you have any other team builds that you found have worked for inferno 3 put it down in the comments so other people can see it but that's it for me guys take it easy and i'll see you all later